Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Natchez silversmith Emile Profile was born in 1801 in Paris, France, but was in New Orleans working at his craft by 1820. There is a listing in the 1822 New Orleans City Directory for an E. Profile watchmaker at 10 Conti Street. He likely left the Crescent City shortly after and made his way to Natchez, where in 1830 he married Maria Quigley's, daughter of a prominent family. Profile had two business concerns in Natchez. One was a jewelry and silver shop, and the other a blacksmith shop. By 1852, Profile had given up blacksmithing altogether and devoted, devoted himself to his jewelry and silver business. Although from the style of many surviving pieces, it is apparent that he was engaged in silversmithing before 1852. Profile turned out flatware, tumblers, tongs, sweetmeat baskets, ladles, ewers, and even pocket watch cases. In addition to the goods that he made, Profile imported watches, jewelry, and silverware from Europe. According to newspaper accounts, he made several trips to Europe to renew his stock as well as to visit his family. Emile Profile had a slave named Ezekiel Profile who worked in his shop, rolling silver into workable sheets. It is possible, and according to some sources, probable, that the slave created some silver pieces. Two tumblers and natchez are thought to be his work. Profile died in 1868, but today his elegant and refined creations are much sought after by collectors of 19th century American silver. I'm Claire Profile Cochran, great-great-great-granddaughter of Emile Profile, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.